going to start with today is 40 seconds on, 20 second recovery. We'll get five warm up exercises before we go into our main session. So the warm up exercises are going to be Superman hold, which is where we're going to be in the, the tabletop position. Right arm, left leg. We're going to hold that for 20 seconds when you hear the beat for halfway. All we're going to do is change, change sides. All right, we're just going to hold that for the 40 seconds. The next exercise is going to be knee tuck. So in the tabletop position again, from here, you're just going to bring your knees off the ground, but you can see that I'm pulling them. I'm tucking my pelvis underneath me to activate those lower abdominals. I'm pulling those knees up to my chest. The next one, we're going to be on our back, dead bucks. From here, this is reverse superman, so it's going to be right leg, left arm, left leg, right arm. And we're going to continue that for 40 seconds. Uh, fourth exercise, reverse crunch, hands under the backside, knees bent, just touch with the heels and back up. And number five is glute bridge, feet shoulder width apart, and we're just driving through those heels, bringing the glutes up, and that's us working our core, our abs, our back, and our glutes to start, and then we're going to get to our main session. Alright, so the first one's going to be supermans, so we're going to get the tabletop position, and I'm just going to get the, the timer on. All right, so let's get a good warm up done. So then we're nice and supple for the main session. All right, so 40 seconds on, 20 second rest, all right? After this, we'll get one minute recovery and then we'll move into our main session. We're gonna go in 10 seconds. Are we ready? So we're in tabletop position. Remember, 20 second hold here, 20 second hold here. We'll take 20 second recovery and then we'll go on the next one. Ready? And let's go. Just going to hold that position. Again, you can start any side, but this is really working the glutes, the core, and the back. Just hold that position. In two, one, and change. Halfway there. There we go. So just changing our leg and changing our arm. Just hold that position. Just work him on the core. There we go. Seven seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. So again, nice and easy, nice and light, just to get us nice and warm. The next one is going to be our knee tuck. So we're going to be here in this position. Lift the knees off the ground and just holding that for 40 seconds. All right, it looks easy, but it's actually quite tough. We're going to go in four, three, two, one, and up. Just hold that position. So again, my knees are going from here, and I'm chucking them up towards the chest. Just hold that position. Again, a really good core workout. That's it. Just hold that position. We'll get 20 seconds to go. We're down halfway. Good work. Hold, hold, hold. 15 seconds. This one is a lot tougher than it looks. We'll get 8 seconds. Keep the core tight. 3, 2, 1, and down. Good. 20 second recovery. The next one, dead box. We'll get on your back. And from here, again, opposite arm, opposite leg. Alright, we're going to go 8 seconds. Just get your breath back, just like the heart rate come back down. We're going to go in four, three, two, one, let's go. So a little bit of coordination, opposite arm, opposite leg, and make sure your tummy's nice and tight, and your back is against the floor. There we go. That's it. Good work. There we go. Just warming up the core, warming up the abs. Keep that going. Keep working. Keep working. Good. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Last 10. Good. Good work. There we go. There we go. Two. One. And rest. Good. Next one, reverse crunches. Exercise number four. Hands underneath the back side. Knees bent. Tap your heels up. Bring the knees back up. Working those lower abs, working that lower tummy. We'll get six seconds and then we're back in our next exercise. In three, two, one, let's go. Again, make sure your 
contract the muscle wraps and she'll bring it to the knees up. There we go. Good. Excellent work, guys. Let's keep this going. Good energy. There we go. Moving your own pace. Moving your own intensity. We're doing well. Let's go. Keep going. Halfway, guys. 20 seconds. Start to really feel that lower. Those lower abdominal lady are burning. Keep that going. We're almost there. Last 10. Let's go, 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 go. Good. Three, two, one. And rest. Good work. 20 second recovery. Exercise number five. We're going to have the back side. We're going to have the glutes. Feet shoulder width apart. Drive through your heels. And bring, that, bring those hips up. Okay. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. So just pushing through the heels. Squeeze the back side. You can touch your back side. See if it's switched on. It should be nice and firm. And it's just a nice straight line from your knees all the way through your hips to your shoulders. There we go. Just like an airplane taking off or coming out for landing. 20 seconds to go. There we go. Just hold that position. Drive through the heels. You're doing well, guys. Keep it going. Great work. There we go. Get 10 to go. Almost there. Good. Two. One. Ah, rest. Good work. So, now we've got the warm up out of the way. We're now going to work on the main set. So, the main set we have is eight exercises. We're going to do each exercise twice. So, we're going to go through one through eight. And then we'll go back through one through eight. So we'll do it, we'll be doing a Saturday, but we'll do each exercise the same time twice. We're going to go one to eight, back through one to eight. The first one we're going to do is Russian twist. So we're going to have either our feet on the ground and we're going to go side to side, or we're going to have our feet off the ground and we're going to go side to side. The further away you can have your hands, the more it's going to work your core. The next one we're going to do is plank at the push up position. So we're here and then we're coming up and back down, coming up. And back down, again, you can do it on your knees, you can be on your elbows, up to your hands, elbows, up to your hands like so. The further away your hands are from your body, the more your core's going to work on your knees. The next one, we've got the right hand side plank, either on your knees or on your feet. And from here, at halfway, I'm going to ask you to do hip dips. And they are, you can put your hand up here, and you can dip your hips like so. Or on the, on the right, you can just dip your hips when you're on your knees as well. We're going to do that over on the left hand side, that's exercise number four. Number five, leg extensions, hands underneath the back side, all the way out, back in, all the way out, back in, like so. Number six, big paddles, hands above our head, and we're going to make big, big paddles with our feet, like that, alright? Number seven, we're going to work on our back and on our posture, we're going to do IYTs, we're going to work I, we're going to go Y, and we're going to go T and make sure your thumbs are facing up towards the ceiling. Number eight is bicycles phase three. Again, you can do one or two. So number one would be hands underneath the back side, like that. Number two, here, or number three, coming up, and knee and elbow meeting each other together. All right, so we get eight exercises. Don't worry, you're gonna follow me anyway if you forget any. 40 seconds on, 20 second recovery. We'll take a minute after number eight, and then we'll go back to number one through it again. Are we ready to rock and roll? We're gonna go in 20 seconds. Right, so the first one, Russian twist. Feet on the ground, a little bit easier, a little bit harder, up here. All right, we're gonna go in 10 seconds. So this is where we're gonna really start to walk the abs and really get that form on. Right, we're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So, we're coming up. Side to side. Side to side. There we go. And make sure those hands are far away from the body to walk the core a little bit better than if they're close to your chest. There we go. Keep that going. Side. 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 There we go. Come on. We're over halfway now. 15 seconds. Keep going. Good work. I'll get 12. I'll get 10. Come on, guys. Feet up, crunch, crunch, crunch. Let's go, come on. Two, one, and rest. Oh, 20 seconds, that's working the whole ab and oblique area. The next one is plank in the push-up position. Remember, 
Remember, if you need to go on your knees, please do so. And try and stay on your feet for as long as you can. We'll get seven seconds and we're back in. We're going to go in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Up we go. Back down. Up we go. Back down. There we go. That's it. Keep that core nice and tight. Back side down. Don't have any bumps up in the air. Don't wave them about. You just don't care. Let's keep going. We've got 20 seconds to go. We're halfway. Excellent work. So here we're working on shoulder stability and also core development. Keep this going. Come on. Good seconds. work. Last 10. We're almost there. We've got five seconds. Go, 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 go. Two, one, and rest. Woo! That's a wee toughie, that one. The next one I've got is a right hand side plank. Again, you can go on your knees or you can be on your feet. At halfway, I'm going to say dip, and that's when you're going to dip your hips. And that's going to really help work that right hand oblique. In three, two, one, and go. There we go. All right. Now that I have your hands up here as well, a little bit more of a hip hinge. We'll get 10 seconds and then we're going to dip. We'll get six seconds. We're going to go in three, two, one, and let's go. So you're just going to dip those hips and you're just going to move at your own pace. Make sure you get that full contraction. Squeeze at the top, squeeze at the top. There we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good. Over to the other side. We're now going to make sure we're balancing this out by doing it on our left hand side as well. We're going to go in 10 seconds. Again, if you're staying on your feet, really good work, guys. Really keep pushing yourself as much as you can. Three, two, one. Let's go. Up we go. Hold that position. That's the stuff. That's what we're working. Good work. Hold those hips nice and high. Touch your left hand side. Make sure it's nice and firm. That means that your oblique is switched on. We're going to dip in three, two, one. Let's go. Dip and down. Back up. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze the hips at the top. There we go. That's it. What that oblique? What the oblique? There we go. Come on. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And rest. Good. So that's us working those obliques, that V, the V shape. The next one is leg extensions. Hands are underneath your backside. Legs are fully extended out. And then knees coming back in. All right, we're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. There we go, that's it. I wouldn't rather be anywhere else on a Tuesday night than doing abs and core with myself. Screaming down your ear. It's all good. It's all good fun. There we go. Come on. Keep going. Keep working. Full extension. There we go. You guys are doing great. Let's keep working. Let's keep pushing. That's what I'm talking about. Keep that going. Keep that going. Good energy. 10 seconds. Last 10, guys. We're almost there. Last 10. Come on. Squeeze the, the lower core. Two. One. And rest. Good. Woo, this is good. Next one, big paddles. Hands above our heads. Big, big paddles. The bigger you make them, the more you're going to want that core. We've we'll got seven seconds. We're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Big paddles. Nice and slow. Nice and controlled. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Good work, guys. Keep going. Go on, work those abs. Work those abs. Come on, work those abs. Keep going. Do not give up on me now. Come on, we're almost there. Halfway, guys. Go, 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 go. Feel the burn. Come on. There we go. Last 10. Oh, I'm feeling this work. Oh, boy. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Two. Oh, my abs are on fire. IYT, so we're going to give our tummy a little bit of break. We're going to go into the thumbs facing up the way, making the I, Y, and T. So 
So on your tummy, we're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. From here, we're going to go I, back in, Y, back in, T. There we go. So this is going to work your trapezius, your rhomboids, and what this is good for is your posture, keeping you up nice and tall, bringing those shoulder blades back. Excellent work, folks. Keep this going. You're doing really well. There we go. Keep pushing through the pain. Last 10. We're almost there. Come on. Go, go, go. Two, one. And rest. 20 second recovery. I've saved number eight, the best to last. Phase one, two of three bicycles. We'll take a minute recovery. Then we'll get back through those eight again. All right, we'll get seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So it's coming up like so. If you're doing phase three, like this, that's it. Driving the up, driving the up. There we go. Yeah, come on. Keep working, keep working. Let's go. Keep pushing. Strong work. No pain, no pain. Come on. 20 seconds to go. 20 seconds to go, keep going. We're almost there at 10, come on, let's go. 10 seconds. You guys are doing fantastic, come on, keep going. We'll get five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Take a minute recovery, all right? So we're one set down, we've got one set to go. We're gonna do one through it again, get some water, let your abs recover, get your breath back, and we're about to go for our next set in 60 seconds time. So again, if you were doing any of those exercises, either the phase one or the lower level exercises and found it quite easy on the first set, please try and push yourself during this 30 minute class it's only 30 minutes, you're only doing each exercise for 40 seconds, so try and just, you know, grind it out the best you can for as long as you can. If you can't do it for 40 seconds, then by all means just take a little bit more recovery, and then come back in when you feel ready, alright? So if you need to do 20 seconds, take a wee 5 second break, and then come back in for the last 15, by all means do so, but try and just push yourself to the best of your abilities. So we're going to go in 20 seconds, pop your walk to the side, let the heart rate come back down, and we're going to start with number one, which is the Russian twist. Again, 40 seconds on, 20 second recovery, smash through those eight, and then we're just going to finish off with a, a, wee, a wee cherry on the top, as I like to say, a wee finisher. All right, so we're going to go in five seconds. Let's get back into position, back onto the carpet. Russian twist, are we ready? Let's get the music back on. We're going to go in three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. So we're going to go side to side. Side to side. There we go. Side to side. That's it. Hands falling away from the body. Keep the hands far away from the body. There we go. Side to side. Side to side. Good. There we go. You guys have got it. Come on. Let's go. Get those feet up. Come on. If you've got them on the ground, try and pick them up. We'll get 20 seconds to go. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Grind it out. Come on. Crunch. Crunch, side, side, 10 to go, come on, there we go, keep working, that's it, go, 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 two, one, and rest. Next one, plank in the push up position, if you're on your knees for the first one, let's try and go on our feet for the second one, alright, we've got 10 seconds, just let your, let your abs recover, big deep breaths, 6 seconds, 4, 3, 2, Let's go. Up we go. Back down. Up we go. Back down. Up we go. Back down. Good. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. There we go. Dig in. Dig in. Come on. You guys are doing great. You guys are doing so well. Let's keep moving. Stay strong. Stay tough. Give me a few more. Come on. We'll get over. We're just over halfway. Keep working. Hold tight. 
You guys are doing excellent. Come on, keep going, keep working, keep pushing. Ten seconds. Ten, come on. There we go, seven. Look at five, four, three, two, one. And let's follow. Good, so we're going to get those front abs a rest, the front core a rest. We're going to go onto that right hand plank. Again, if you're on your knees, let's try and go on your feet. Ten seconds. You guys are doing so well. Let's keep this energy going all the way to the end of the class. We're, we're, three, we're three quarters of the way through. Two, one. Let's go. Up we go. Let's hold this position strong. Strong, strong work. Again, at 20 seconds, we'll do our hip dips. Alright, we've got 8 seconds, we're going to go in 5, we're going to go in 3, 2, 1, let's go, Way there. 20 seconds to go, come on, come on, dig, 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 push, come on, seconds. 8 seconds guys, let's keep working, push, come on, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest, good. Over to the left. Let's keep working, let's keep grinding. Come on, we're almost there. But exercise number four after this, we're halfway. Ten seconds. You guys are doing so well, let's keep the energy high. Five, we're at four, three, two, one. And up. There we go. Pull the hips up. There we go. Get them up. Hold them there. Do not let those hips drop. Keep them up. Stay strong. Tense up those abs. In eight seconds, we're going to dip. We're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. That's it, dip, dip. Good work. Come on. Go, go. Keep working. That's it. For the ten. Can you go? Keep going. Keep going. That's it. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the top. Three, two, one. And rest. Excellent work guys, excellent work, we're doing well. Number five, leg extensions. You guys are doing great, I'm seeing your energy, I'm seeing you working hard. Let's keep it going, we're almost there. Seven seconds, five, come on, three, two, one, let's go. Awesome work guys, keep this energy up. Come on, keep pushing, push yourself, come on, let's go. Dig deep. Find a little bit more energy. There we go. Come on. Grind it out. 20 seconds. That's what I'm talking about. Keep it going. Keep it going. We get 10 seconds. That's it. Drive. Dig. Push. Come on. Three, two, one. And rest. Nice. Number six, the big paddles, hands above our heads, 13 seconds. This one's a killer, this one is what got me the last time, probably got you guys. Let's stay strong, we know it's going to hurt, so let's just stay mentally tough. Three, two, one, let's go. There we go, there we go. Embrace it, embrace the pain, come on. Welcome it. Don't fight it. Welcome it. Don't fight it. There we go. Tell it it won't beat you. Tell it you're too strong. Tell it you're too tough. Come on. Keep going. There we go. Abs of steel. Come on. Last 10. Push. Dig. Go, 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 go. We get three, two, one. And rest. Woo! I felt a lot tougher on that set than the first one because I just kept my mindset tough and strong. Next one, I, Y's and T's on your tummy. So again, thumbs facing up the way to make sure we're contracting our back properly. We're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. All the way out. There we go. T. I. Y. T. I. White. T. I. Y. T. Good work. There we go. That's it. 20 seconds. Keep working those posture muscles. Keep them fired up. Keep them working. We're almost there. Come on. Dig in. Come on. You guys are doing great. Keep going. Two. One. And rest. 
Oh, we're running the last one, the goodie. The bicycles, phase one, phase two. Oh, try and do phase three. Okay, eight seconds, all right? Let's really dig in for this last one. We'll get five. We'll get three, two, one. Let's go. We're coming up. Drive that knee. Elbow to knee. Elbow to knee. Elbow to knee. Come on. There we go. Drive up. Drive up. Good. Push. Drive. You've got it, guys. You've got it. Keep going. There we go. Keep going. Keep working. Halfway. 20 seconds. Last 20 seconds up here. Come on. Keep going. Go, go, go. Excellent work. Keep that going. Excellent, guys. We're almost there. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. And rest. There we go. So, that's the main set done. Get yourself a little drink. We're going to finish off with a little finisher, which is basically going to be 35 crunches without stopping. And what I mean by that is either you can have your feet on the ground, come up like so, or you can have your feet off the ground and come up like so. We're going to do 35 repetitions without stopping, and then that's us done. All right, so. Just get a little drink of water, give yourself another 30 seconds to recover. And from there, we are going to really just now smash up those abdominals, especially when you're tired, when you're fatigued, and you feel that you maybe can't do any more. I'm going to push you to just give me that extra last 10% that you've got in the tank that you wouldn't normally do on your own, all right? So this is what's really good about these classes where I'm here and I'm pushing you and I'm motivating you to get more out of your body than what you'd normally do on your own. Alright, so again we'll get 20 seconds, just get your breath back. Again we can either do feet on the ground or we can bring our feet off the ground but we're going to do 35 crunches as a finisher and then that's us done. Alright, are we ready? We'll go on to our back and again Try and not stop, just keep fighting and fighting and fighting to get those 35 done. Alright? Are we ready? We're gonna go in five, alright? We're gonna go in four, three, two, one. Let's go. So crunch up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, come on, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, come on, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, come on, it's starting to hot now, 28, 29, 30, come on, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Oh, so you should be really feeling that across the top of your tummy right there. Really good work. So what we're just going to do for the last 30 seconds of the class, we're just going to stretch that tummy off and upward dog. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our tummy, and from here we're just going to breathe in, and as we breathe out, just bring. The abs, the hips, the chest, off the ground, and get that nice deep stretch in the abdominal area. There we go. Breathe in. Look up to the sky, breathe out. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just feel that real deep intense stretch in your abs when you breathe in. Alright, last breath cycle, we'll breathe in. Hold it, feel that nice tension in the abdominal area. Breathe out. Good, and just back down. There we go. So what that does is just help strength, uh, sorry, stretch out the, the abs, the psoas, because as those things, as we do those exercises, we tighten the, the abs and the psoas and the hip flexors up. And what happens is then that can also that can restrict our breathing, and that can also restrict our, our sort of squats or deadlifts, getting those deep 
squat positions because it might be a bit tight and it also can affect your breathing as well if the psoas is tight. So again, we want to make sure we're stretching out after doing such a high, high impact abs class. But really good work, I hope you enjoyed the class and I can't wait to see you on Thursday for yoga.